So the new Season 5 update in Walls of Mobile just dropped with some cool new updates and we're going to be testing it out on the brand new Red Magic 8S Pro, which is an absolute beast of a gaming phone. Who wants one? But first, let's talk about the global launch, as there's tons of negativity in the community on why Warzone Mobile has taken so long to release and supposedly how bad it looks right now. So for the global launch, it is expected to release on November 10th, which is when the next big PC and console Call of Duty title drops. Since Warzone Mobile is cross-progression, it kind of makes sense for them to release it on this day, and even one of the biggest COD Mobile creators, iFerg, has hinted on a tweet as well. So with it only being three months away, the game still doesn't look quite ready. If you look at this gameplay comparison here between iOS and Android, you can see quite a big difference in textures, in smoothness, in FPS. For Android, it just doesn't look very good right now. Now, the good thing is there's still many updates to come before the global launch, so there's plenty of time for the devs to optimize the game. But in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how it runs on the highest gaming device in the market, the Red Magic 8S Pro. The phone launched recently, and this gaming phone has extreme performance with 16 gigabytes of RAM and the latest Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor, which lets it run any mobile game flawlessly. It comes with three different cool designs, the Midnight Black, the Platinum Silver, and the Aurora Black. Now I've got the Midnight Black version, and on this one, you can actually see inside the phone on the back while it's running, which is insane. It's got 960 hertz, touch sampling rate which makes it mega smooth to browse apps and an ice 11 cooling system with an rgb fan so it never overheat it also comes with two finger triggers to give you that extra room when gaming and so many more customizations while you're in the game as well to turn you into a pro now i'm thinking of giving this bad boy away but first i want you guys to hit a like and drop a comment down below and also click my referral link in the description and the comments as there's an early bird offer right now where you can get it for a discount now let's see how this runs on Warzone Mobile. All right, here we go, boys. So this is the Red Magic 8S Pro, and it's not going to look the best because Warzone isn't as optimized on Android, but it feels amazing. The, the the actual phone, it's quite a large phone as well. It's like a box sort of square phone. Um, so it's got no sort of corners on it, which makes it easier to aim, but it's going to look the, uh, the best for um, the gameplay. You can see, yeah, Warzone Mobile is it, it, quite unoptimized. For Android, it's uh, the, the FPS is like 30, capped at 30 for, for Android, or it feels like it. So even just running Bravo around, there's like slight lags, there's lag spikes. Um, we'll do a quick inspect of the weapon right now. Doesn't look the best, but oh wow, I just got absolutely bodied. So. Um, yeah, Warzone Mobile still got a long way to go, especially for Android devices. On iPad and I for iOS, it's a lot different. It feels incredible, it looks amazing Bravo. as well. Um, there are like some parts of the map that are like very smooth for Android, but it depends where you are and it depends how many people are sort of around you as well. So let's try and get some kills. Enemy secure in Charlie. Two objectives secure. Wow. Enemy secure in Charlie. It makes it very hard to play on Android right now. I'm not going to lie. It makes it very, very hard to play. All right, boys. So we're loading into hotel right now. This is the new map um, that Warzone Mobile introduced. Um, you can see when, when we're not actually in the game playing, there's not people around or the textures aren't loading in. It's quite smooth. Um, definitely needs an FPS boost, but let's just play some gameplay and show you what it's like. So already, definitely feels like I'm on like 30 FPS. And then now it feels like I'm 60 FPS. So, yeah, it, it's... I don't know. I don't know what to feel about this game. It's, it's on on iOS. I love it. On Android, it doesn't feel good. Ah, dropped him. Yeah, I got body by his teammate. Brilliant. But yeah, I'm just gonna show you raw gameplay for the rest of this video, guys. Um, but it's just showcasing. Even on the the, the brand new Red Magic 8S Pro, one of the highest end devices. Very laggy. Kind of almost almost unplayable. Almost unplayable. Like I'm, you guys know I'm pretty proud of mobile games, but when when you go on sort of less than 30 FPS, makes it very hard. Yeah, I, I can't even aim properly as well, so it's not going to be the best gameplay to watch. But I'm just showing you what the current state of Warzone Mobile is like right now. If you guys haven't seen it already, especially for Android. So if you're on Android. It's going to be quite tough. Dropped him. Enemies inside the perimeter. There we go. There we 
where we are. Yeah, so these guys definitely are on iPads or iOS, and I think we've just crashed as well. Yeah, so this is kind of the current state. Um, I wanted just to show you it raw. Oh, we're back in. We're back in, but you get things like that. Yeah, I can hardly aim. Makes it very hard to aim. Yeah, I'm just getting absolutely bodied right now because it's, it's unplayable right now. There's a mobile, I'm excited for it, but they really need to they really need to change some things. I, I'm struggling to get okay, one kill right now. Just of how, like, sort of, you can see just from the... I mean, the textures and everything definitely needs a graphics update. Friendly when you stand UAV still, it looks okay. But when you move, Covering yeah, it looks all over the place, so... Enemies inside the perimeter. Not the greatest experience. Someone just camped out here. Maybe he's crashed. He's moved. I mean, I, I love like the fact that we've got Warzone on mobile. You know, like Modern Enemy Warfare 2. These the maps, perimeter. I love this map. Insane map on uh, on PC and console. But yeah, look, as I'm getting closer to like enemies and stuff and stuff rendering in, the it's starting to get more ground. and more like. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'm struggling to even aim as well, so... We'll finish this out. We'll finish this map out. And then we've crashed again. Right, guys, I'm probably just going to end the video there because this is very unplayable right now, but I'm just giving you a raw experience of exactly how Warzone Mobile feels even on the highest on Android devices as well. So I think the devs have got a lot more work to do. Um, there's still like three or four months until the predicted global launch date. So thank you guys for watching. I'm going to end the video there. Peace. Don't forget to check out the Red Magic as well. Beastie folk.